Greetings, Chris Zirkle here. We've learned how to record with Scratch. Now we're going to edit with Scratch. And I would suggest that if you have students that are podcasting and they have Chromebooks, this will probably be the easiest way for them to record and edit on a Chromebook for free. You can also utilize this resource as well, although teachers have access to other applications which we'll learn about. So let's start at the top. The top, you want to name your file. So right here at the very top where it says sound, go ahead and name your file. We want our students to do that right away. To the right of that, you have your undo button and of course your redo button. You have copy, we have paste, we have copy to new and delete. Those are really all the controls you have on the top. Here's your wave or audio file. And down below, you can see you can speed it up. You can slow it down. You can make it louder or softer, mute it, fade it in, fade it out, reverse or do the robot. So we're gonna go ahead and look at this last end here. See this dead air here? What you can do is you can highlight areas, just click and start dragging. And right there, that's a little bit of dead air at the end I wanna get rid of, so I'm gonna delete that. And then see this right here? This is like a really kind of a loud part where the volume was a little bit louder than everything else. I just want to soften that a little bit, just that one little area. And then I have a cough right here. So this little, <coughs> you can kind of see that little cough right there. I'm going to go ahead and highlight that and delete that. And let's say that the intro was a little bit louder than the other parts of the recording. So I'm going to reduce that audio a little bit, soften Welcome that. Welcome to the podcast. And let's say this part was a little bit soft spoken. I can increase that. How to record. Let's say that here I said the word um, right here I said um. So I can highlight just the word um and delete that. And it'll pull the recording together and take it out. When you're done editing, the audio recording what you want to do is just right click on the audio file you'll see duplicate we want to go to export just go ahead and hit export you've named your file it'll download it for you and you'll be able to submit that for your mastery check